Gamescom. It's literally the biggest game event in the world and we got to show our game there. As you might imagine, this is very exciting. We were part of the Indie Arena booth, which is a very cool indie spot in Gamescom. There were over 170 amazing new indie games shown in this spot, including our very own project, Escaping Atlantis. Myself and Britta, who's an artist on our project and also my amazing girlfriend, arrived a few days ahead of time in Cologne, which is where Gamescom is held, so that we could chill there for a few days, meet some people that we already knew were going to be there, and be ready when the event started. We were super lucky with our Airbnb because the rooms were nice, the hosts were amazing, and the location was really good as well, which is double lucky because it's really hard to get a good spot while Gamescom is happening because it is ridiculously popular. On Tuesdays when the Gamescom craziness really started for us, we had breakfast with people from Valve as well as a lot of other cool devs and publishers, including our friend Linus who made his own vlog about Gamescom. Then we had lunch with our friends from Kurzgesagt, which if you're not familiar, you should 100% check out their YouTube channel. And then we got to see how our booth looked in real life. And oh my God, I love how it turned out. Our artists, Britta, Saira, and Isa worked really hard on getting art files for this setup. And seeing it in person, it was so worth it. It looked amazing and oh my god, I'm in love with it. That evening we also showed Escaping Atlantis at another event at Courage Cologne, which was great because even though we've showcased the game a lot of times before, it was great to see a lot of people play the game again and get a feel for how they respond to the particular build that we set up for Gamescom. And then on Wednesday, it really happened. Gamescom had begun. We had a chance to roam around the bigger booths for a while because it was not that busy yet, since Wednesday is meant for trade visitors and not really open for the public. So we got to see some of the booths that AAA company set up. It's kind of insane to see how they make full statues, full buildings and thrones and other crazy stuff. And they basically do this every year. The reason we got to walk around a little bit and we didn't have to be at the booth the entire time was because it wasn't just the two of us. Okay, so this is our amazing booth. These are the amazing people helping us out. That's Aiden, Henrik, Britta, and Luke. Totally wearing a shirt. <laughs> I am so happy that we had a team of five to look after the booth because Gamescom lasts for five days and is open for 10 hours each of those days and that does not yet include arriving early to set up and staying a little later to clean up after. And five 10 hour days of standing around showcasing the game will kind of kill you, so this was really nice. On top of that, I wasn't just there to show the game to consumers, I was also having a bunch of meetings with publishers to pitch the game. And the response was pretty good. Very excited about the people we met and we'll be in touch with them and see if there's any kind of way we can collaborate in the future. Speaking of people we met, there were so many amazing people that we saw as we showcased at Gamescom. The organizers and the volunteers of Indie Arena booth are wonderful and they are so nice to be with. There were a lot of amazing other indie developers showcasing their games both inside of the Indie Arena booth and in the area around it. And of course there were a lot of people coming over to play the games who we had a lot of really good conversations with as well. It was kind of overwhelming, but in like the most amazing way possible. Then Sunday was the final day. All right, last day, how are you feeling? Cool. <laughs> Great. Just good enough. <laughs> Just good enough, that's perfect. Me and Britta were surprised with how not dead we were, which was 100% because of the great showcase team that we had. It was a weird feeling when it was finally over. It was relief because we got through all of that and it was exhausting. But of course, it's also a bit bittersweet because we won't see many of these amazing people that we found here in quite a while. Then we got to take home the posters that we used in our booth and that was super cool because they are beautiful and I want to hang them somewhere. And that was it. We showcased that Gamescom. After that, we took a week off to recover and it's now about a week and a half later and I'm finally starting to feel somewhat back to normal after all that. Uh, so with a lot of good feedback, it's time for us to get back to work on Escaping Atlantis. Thank you for watching. Please do all the things like subscribing, but also wish this thing Escaping Atlantis on Steam if it seems like that's a cool, interesting thing for you. And yeah, thank you. Take care.